you to know this Black Friday, you can sit back. Black are all over the region. Retailers are calling this their super. 149,000 stores offering sales in the greater sales changing hands. Starting a little bit. Breaking news leading with unconfirmed reports of a smallpox outbreak. Small outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. And National Guard units converging on a hospital trains. in Central The bridges are closed. It's a war zone. This is a very real more danger. More than a more than a bowl. Let me no, stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. Well known as the Green Poison, Central Park has been converted to a mass burial ground. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government We're expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging for it. Any available units? Fire and health in the area. Our first responders are either dead or resources available. They treat it like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for this. We knew the situation was bad. Worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. We are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We might even be your friends. But when we get the call, we leave everything behind. We are the division. Riders are moving through, in force, They're headed this way. Put your people there. I see someone else got the call. I'm Agent Fei Lau, Division. Activated the same time as you, part of the second wave of us going in. I don't know what happened to the first wave, but unfortunately, there's still lots left for us to do. We don't have much intel, and we don't have the luxury of failure. Not with Manhattan under lockdown and Brooklyn on the brink. People like me, and you. Or what's left to hold the line. With any luck, we'll have more to go on once we rendezvous with the commander. More about the situation, about who's turning the streets into a war zone. Anything that's going to help us do what we're supposed to do. If you'll excuse me, Lieutenant. Officer Hazen and his team are handling situation reports. If you're looking for a hot spot, that's who you want to talk to.
Station Tower, Visual Hudson. Yeah, the division agents on board. The explosion was their right in. Okay, clear to land. GTF 6-8. Usually you need some time to know if you can count on someone. Well, we're out of time. My bet's on you. It has to be. I hope to God I'm right. Hey, bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people, this is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to- Yeah, okay, okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. Well, look who it is. Thanks for getting me out of the garden. I've been in some hostile work environments before, but Jesus. Of course, it's not like this place is going to win any prizes either. Antique equipment, zero staff, patients lining up out the door. This isn't going to cut it. We're doing the best we can, Dr. Candle. Any suggestions you might have, I'm happy to listen. I know, I know. Beggars, choosers, all that crap. What matters is beating this thing, but I can't do that without knowing more about it. And here's a good place to start. Sarah is pretty sure Dr. Gordon Amherst had something to do with the outbreak. God. That asshole. Saw him present a paper at Columbia once. He nearly started a riot. He's part of this. I need to talk to him. Anything of his you can find. Notebooks, laptops, close personal friends. I need that too. And we need to talk about live samples and antibodies. You're going to be busy. And you'll be? Fixing this. Saving lives. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get started. Come on over. Captain Benita's even found some fresh coffee. Uh, I just happened to walk by what's left of Kerman's. So what we're responsible for is Midtown to Lower Manhattan, mainly because nobody can get off of this island right now, including us. The biggest problem we have is manpower, or lack thereof. Right now we got criminal elements occupying and controlling most of these neighborhoods. Rikers, cleaners, street gangs. Yeah, I don't have enough people to secure a block, much less maintain order and safety. So basically these assholes are running around taking whatever they want and killing whoever they want because we got nobody to stop them which means we get the task of cleaning up these neighborhoods so we can at least get food and medical aid to the residents. I don't know. I mean, an area this size, this many bad guys, I don't think you people can handle it alone. I mean, no offense. I just don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves. Captain, we are the wolves. Right. Well, then maybe you can convince 
the division to send more of your guys. For the time being, what you see is what you get. I can't believe I'm begging the feds to take over my city. Any intel we receive, you'll be the first to know. Good luck. You'll need it. Look, I don't do sentimental. But you got me out of a jam there, so thanks. But I know you want more from me than just warm fuzzies for me. Saving my sorry ass. I'm like getting this shit all up to par. I'm government standard, I see. Nice to see they're still keeping the bar low enough that even roaches can walk right over it. You want quality? You go private. That's what I learned in Basra. Oh, yeah. See, you can't just live on farts and good intentions. Power, water, all the bells and whistles. Not that you're the first one to try it. I hear a bunch of you people went missing when the shit hit the fan. Got some theories about that myself. My point is, when you're out there hooking up the city, poke around a bit, see what you can find out. Maybe the virus got him. Maybe the brutes got him. Maybe the city opened up its rotten core and swallowed them whole. I'd believe that. It's happened before. Fucking city got my wife. Miracle, I'm still here, really. You know, they say a pessimist is a disillusioned romantic. Well, whoever said that's a fucking asshole. Go on, see what you can find out. I'll let you know which shit to hook up. Careful, this fucking city doesn't eat you, too. Hey there, I... Give me a second. Yes? I'm sorry, Dr. Kendall, but the sample's not producing results that... Did you run them at room temperature? Uh, you said... I said room goddamn temperature. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're within temperature variances. You know what? I'll do it myself. Just put it down and we'll both pretend this never happened. Hard to believe you can't find good help in the middle of a pandemic, right? Anyway, the good news is we are up and running on what you've brought in so far. Dr. Ellis taking over the hospital wing was a lifesaver. Now I can focus on research. My wife always says I'm better with pathogens than with people. My ex-wife, Bunny. Anyways, you just keep doing what you're doing. We are halfway to a blueprint for a vaccine, and with your help, we will get the rest.
let's talk. Upgrades are all working good. Thanks for helping out, Agent. Oh, look who it is. Hey, hey, it's the conquering hero. Gotta say, I didn't think anybody could pull off what we asked you to do. Best part is you freed up my first responders to go where they could do the most good. Not bad for feds, huh? I've seen worse. Take a look. Every criminal group that we've been dealing with is on the run. They're not all gone, but there's a lot less of them out there. And it shows. Residents are feeling safe enough to come out onto the streets again. JTF was able to help Sarah get their tents back up and running. They've got people lining up around the block getting food and medical attention. We're finally starting to get some traction out there. Well, I ran into the guy who runs my neighborhood, Delhi in Queens. He's actually talking about reopening at some point. You know, if I squint, I can almost see New York again. How about that? All right, that's enough back padding for one day. LMB's still out there pissing me off. I've got work to do. And so do you, Agent. Get to it. Hey. You've got skills, pal. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but I think we've got something. Thanks to you, we have mapped the genetic drift on green poison. Plus, I have ID'd all the aftermarket DNA Amherst bolted onto it. And thanks to those samples you picked up from the survivors, I was able to harvest antibodies against our friendly neighborhood superbug, and that let me lay out a roadmap for a vaccine. Here. Take a look. Normally, I'd take point on the team developing that, but they're a little better equipped to handle it in an arbor. And me? Well, I'm stuck here with you. Which is fine. God knows there's plenty left for me to do here. And with Chernenko and maybe Amher still out there, all it would take is one psycho asking the right questions. Tell me we're not going to see that. Please. Dr. Dr. Campbell, Campbell, you're needed in the recovery ward. Dr. Dr. Campbell. Still lots for me to do. Hey. You know we can't survive this again. So please. Good job getting in and out before the cleaners torched that apartment. Look, we both got shit to do right now. Talk later. The holiday films this evening, beginning at 1900. All civilians are invited to attend. Nice to see a friendly face around here. Catch up later. Watch yourself out there. We need. Okay. You've done some impressive work, Agent. The only thing that's made being stuck in here bearable is knowing that you were out there doing the job that I can't. 
The city's starting to pick itself up off the pavement. You can see it in people's eyes. They're finally starting to think about something besides dying. They don't even know the worst is still out there. Colonel Bliss's boys have proven more resilient than a swarm of cockroaches. You've hurt them, but they've still got the resources to terrorize this city on a massive scale. They fortified the United Nations complex, and they've got Chernenko, the Russian virologist that Amherst was working with. Now they're holding him prisoner there. Fascists in the seat of international peace and security. Funny guy, that Bliss. At this point, it's clear the LMB was involved with whatever happened to the first wave. And we know now that at least one agent was actively working with Bliss. We thought the last man battalion was scary enough. But if they've got access to division tech or intel, they could completely destroy everything we've been working toward. Hey. We both know what needs to happen now. You need to find a way into the UN and deal with Bliss once and for all. It's not fair to put this all on you, but... Fair died weeks ago. Go get him, Agent. Agent, you're needed at Camp Clinton. Okay? See to those barricades and have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be right. for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go!
We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each, each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing, create nothing. Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out, who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting. Incoming alert.
thanks for the help out there. You should check in with Manny, our coordinator, upstairs in the blue room. And come by here if you ever need help with your tech. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the Division Alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions, and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. He can... If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. But I'd only slow her down. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. They get to me. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I always pay my debts. Wanna check in? worse than ever, Odessa. We're barely holding things together. What am I supposed to do? Help us! I am helping. I am helping. Just not the way you want me to. We need you out there again. Your leg wouldn't stop you. It's not about that. I know it isn't. But if we fail... All right! All right. We can probably spare some people. I'll be outside. She said you did your part. I won't forget it. Hi there. More dead batteries. We can't power our comms. Sooner or later, it's gonna be. Hello, I'm Anaya. I'm going to be helping out at the base of operations with equipment fabrication. It's a pleasure to meet you. Heads up, we now have a working barbecue. 
and better food in your stomach is gonna go a long way towards putting a smile on your faces. If the theater keeps growing, we're gonna need some new sources. Step back. It should be easy. What's your fucking problem? Just leave, man. We don't want any trouble. You wanna see what I can do? Guys, maybe we should just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Safety off. Make sure the medical items gets into the clinic and the food goes to the storage by the mess halls. Put those crates back on the truck. Wait, what? We're not wasting any more supplies on these people. Put them back, Private. Sir. What the hell are you doing, Colonel? They are already dead, Doctor. Are you insane? They need care. What about the staff? Collateral damage. Now, take your hand off my soldier. If you go ahead with this, I will report your con- What the f Bar the gate, Sergeant. Looks like you got a riot brewing. Lock and load! Put it down. Agent, thanks to your hard work, we've been able to make some critical upgrades to the base of... We've restored access to the city's CCTV cameras and updated our maps of DC in the Situation Room. The mess hall has proper food prep and cooking equipment, with comfortable places to sit and have a hot meal. Giving the staff a place to relax has boosted morale. We're getting an influx of food, water, and medical supplies. Some of these will remain here to create a stockpile. Now the surplus will be redistributed to civilians in need. It's hard to believe we have a surplus of anything right now. The White House is coming back to life. Keep up the good work. I'm Grace. I've been asked to relocate to the base of operations and help you coordinate with other agents. Come see me when I get set up. Mortar attack. Chemical. Seven survivors. Yes, man. Seven total. The sheriff just came in. Can you get these people to safety? I'm gonna go kill the bastards that did this. You're safe now. I promise. The attack came from Jefferson Plaza. You know what to do. 
Hey! Kill them all. Hey, sugar. It's good to see you. You know you've done something unthinkable. You've given us hope. I think Kelso and I both lost sight of how important it is. I hate to ask more of you when you've already done so much. But... If you find yourself in the vicinity of the police headquarters over on Indiana Avenue, I could use your help with a personal matter. It's nothing urgent, but it would mean a lot to me. We're barely hanging on. It's hard to motivate people to fight for their lives when their lives aren't worth fighting for. Good to meet you. Henry Hayes. Look, I sympathize, Henry. But we have our own problems, and they are big problems. Maybe we can help. I know you need people. Keep telling me you can't spare anyone. Not right now, but if you guys can take some pressure off of us. We are already doing what we can. Are you? Because outside those walls, it's perdition. We let our guard down just for a second and it's over. All of this. Whatever you're doing out there. We're not feeling it in here. Well, Sheriff. I hope you're ready for some extra work. Ah, there we are. I wanted to thank you personally. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be at the mercy of those hyena assholes. We all owe a debt of gratitude to the Division and the sacrifices you've made to keep our country together. You're the doer of deeds, as Roosevelt once put it. Now it's my responsibility to direct those deeds toward an even greater good. As Agent Kelso suspected, samples of a broad-spectrum antiviral medication were sent to D.C. as a continuity of government measure. Let me be clear. We're talking about a way to combat viral infection. Polio, influenza, dengue fever, common cold, green poison. Not a vaccine, a cure. I know where the package is located, but to access it, I'll need the briefcase I was carrying aboard Air Force One. We believe the briefcase is with the true sons in the Capitol. Oh, then get it back. I don't care how you do it. Just get it done. If we're going to get this country back on track, we have to be willing to do things that won't be popular. But I'm not here to woo voters. I'm here to get shit done. And I expect you are too. Oh, yeah.
Come on in. Got another favor to ask you. About a month ago, some people that weren't happy with how I was handling things decided that they wanted to take their chances on their own. The outcasts have been harassing them, but we got reason to believe there's going to be a major attack. Now, I've sent people to provide security, but division agent make a big difference. Not just for the added firepower. You've done so much for us already. But maybe with your help, we can convince them to come back, give the settlement another chance. Before it's too late. Your hard work has really improved our communications, security, the situation medical room has a surveillance team, additional radio coordinators, and a staging area for patrols. We're running cleaner ops, managing resources better, and limiting collateral damage. The sick bay is starting to feel less like a field hospital and more like a clinic. With a new ICU and surgical suite, we could start healing people instead of having to prioritize who can be saved. The Shade Network is prepped to be reactivated nationally. Once it's up and running, we can communicate with agents across the country. I really don't know how to thank you for everything you've done. Without your help, I don't know that we would have survived, let alone thrived. Thank you, Agent. Keep up the good work. Just a few moments ago, the Shade Network was restored nationwide. For division agents still struggling to hold this country together, and all of you fighting alongside them, or laboring day and night to support them from here, this is the turning point where desperate hope becomes bold conviction. You have already overcome impossible odds. Thanks to you, good people in this city are starting to feel safe again. And our enemies are running scared. I say it's time we kick them out of their castles to make it clear to those who stand with us and those who would stand against us that we will not hesitate. We will not compromise. We will never surrender. We will bear any sacrifice and secure victory 